wanted to show you guys my little fox outdoor indoor outdoor decoration I got at Target half off yesterday afternoon he is so cute and he's heavy so I'm gonna that's all the looking you get to do hey guys Merry Christmas or really Merry post Christmas I'm gonna try and make a few short videos so I can get them uploaded quickly because I wanted to tell you about a few things um, I hadn't had a lot of time between like Halloween and Christmas to do a lot of stuff so this is our little tree I don't know how much of it is getting in the frame but we were um, helping my brother-in-law get his tree because he can't see to drive at night anymore and we went, when we went up there they were actually giving the trees away it was the Thursday before Christmas at Home Depot so we got this little guy and I just um, over the last since Thursday each day I've just put on little random little ornaments that I found around the house these are things I picked up at Dollar Tree I think I actually got this piece I think there was several in a package and I thought they would be cute in a Christmas planner next year and this I had not seen this actual pose of the deer um, this year and I saw this one package so I picked it up and I thought it would be cute in some sort of Christmas planner if I do one I got these I don't know if you can see them or not probably not but I got some plastic balls at Hobby Lobby that were mercury glass they were like 66% off or something but they're plastic so that's cool this little elf if you can see him he came from the Target dollar spot and that is what this not the Target dollar spot he came from this little guy came from Target but not the dollar spot, but he was originally $3 and I got him yesterday for $1.50 because everything was half off. And that was what this video was to tell you about was um, Target and Dollar Tree having their Christmas stuff half off. So I got the Light Up Fox, which I had seen on last Thursday night when I ran in to buy one of the tree stands. Um, I saw the fox but he was sixty dollars at least I thought he was sixty he may have been on sale then and anyway I went back and he was still there just the one so I got him so I was excited about that and then when I was there getting the little fox I got a few little ornaments um, this does not scream Christmas to me but oh my gosh It's like he's like a little yarn ball with a little felt head. I'm going to cut this tag off. He was originally $3. It says Trend Trim. And um, he was $1.50. And all of their Christmas was half off. And they, they had a bunch of stuff in baskets. They had like 20 baskets lined up. I didn't even go through the baskets. This is what I found on the shelves. Okay. Brace yourself for this one. It's super, super cute. A little fat birdie. Isn't he cute? He it's like he's made out of calico. And also a dollar fifty was the sale price. It's a little heavy. <laughs> this tree probably needs some water. And then the last thing, because I didn't want to totally negate the fact that that thing was half off. I saw Charlotte Winterbottom haul these, oh, maybe a month ago, I think. They just, their decor to sit on a shelf. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Isn't that precious? I just got this yesterday. Like, what would that be? Two days after Christmas? So, super cute. For me, the day after Christmas, because we didn't celebrate with my family until Monday. Okay, and then Dollar Tree. The first Dollar Tree I went in had nothing. They had candy. That's it. The second Dollar Tree I went in, tons and tons of wrapping paper. 
and this one has little dogs on it. But they had every, I mean every kind. I didn't, I didn't look um, for very long because you know I need need wrapping paper like I need a hole in the head. But they had Frozen, they had Ninja Turtles, they had Batman, they had, and then I got this one. How cute is that? So. I didn't need wrapping paper, but they were 50 cents a roll, so. And then, my husband, I, I, I called him on the phone, he was waiting in the car, and I was like, the gift bags are half off. I didn't realize it was, everything was half off as far as Christmas goes. At that point, I was just looking at the gift sacks. So he's like, okay, I'm coming in. So this was his purchase. Giant gift bag. This, maybe this is a hint to get him something big next year, I don't know. Um, <laughs> actually, before I show you the bags, I'm going to show you what's in the sack so I can get it off the bags. I have not been able to find these stickers all season at any of my Dollar Trees. And what happens? I find them half off after Christmas at this other Dollar Tree that I never go to. Guess who's going to start going to this Dollar Tree more often? Me! So, they've got, they had the, this color in Hope, Joy, um, then they had, I got two where they had two. I got two because I got some for me and some for my friend. That one, I think they only had one. So, super excited about these. Cheap Crafty Girl did a really cute spread, and she used one of these stickers on, in her um, planner. I can't remember off the top of my head, but that was why I was looking for them, and I couldn't find them. Um, then this is my husband's purchase. Not really sure where he plans to put it, but it's a cute little snowman wall mural. And then as if I didn't already have enough labels or gift tags or whatever you call them, I got some more. Again, these are just 50 cents each. So really, who can blame me? I got the cute one with the penguins and like sweets, little cupcakes and candy canes and mittens and deer. And then this one's super cute. It's got um, the little fox and the owl. And this one is a lot of sweets. Sorry for the glare. And then this one has Santa and snowmen and polar bears. It's pretty cute stuff. They had a ton, they had a ton of labels still. They also had a lot of these which I've heard people, um, I've seen people do lots of cute things with these, and I never have, so I thought I would get one. And I was wondering if it would be possible to spray Krylon Looking Glass spray paint inside of a plastic ornament. I don't know. I also got some of these. They were 50 cents, and my husband was like, what are you going to do with those? And I was like, I don't know, they're only 50 cents. $25, got a, two more of these. These were the picks that were two for a um, dollar, so now they're two for 50 cents, so they were a quarter each. And I love the, the look of that, like, it looks like ice on there. It's so pretty. This one was a little bit haggard. That's what you're going to run into this late in the game, but... For a quarter, I thought 
50 cents for the two. I thought that was pretty good. And then I had never seen this box at my Dollar Tree. It's actually a set of two gift boxes. There's a smaller one nestled inside. And it's got a lid and it's, it says Season's Greetings, which I don't typically care for, but the pretty deer sold it. I kind of like Merry Christmas, although like I'm not against, you know, saying Season's Greetings or anything. I just like saying Merry Christmas. And then this last thing that's a non-bag item I am so excited about because I have looked at these for a couple of years and I've never taken the plunge because giant snowflakes, giant snowflakes. So big. <laughs> So my plan is to maybe hang these from a tree out front. If you think I should do something different with them, let me know. They only had 10 and I got all 10. It was $5 and I thought for $5 it's worth satisfying my curiosity about whether or not these, I think these would look really cool hanging from the tree. I don't know. We'll see. And if not, I have a high ceiling in here. I mean, I could hang them in here, but that'd be kind of weird, I think. So that's what I got these for. And then just really quickly, I need to hurry because I have other stuff to tell you about. So just to show you the bags I got. I already had one of these, and I got another one. I think it's really cute. I thought this was really pretty, elegant, and Victorian looking. I am... Um, I will say that mostly it was just big bags left. This is, I like this craft papery feel on this one. This side has little snowflakes. Another one, craft papery feel. This side looks kind of striped. I like the weathered wood look. And this is one of my husband's selections. He loves the bright colors, which I do too. This definitely would be for the den. I like to keep things in this room a little more, I don't know, old fashioned. This is more colorful. Me or my husband picked this one. I think it's pretty darn cute. I love his little muffler. My husband picked this one. We're not going to have to buy bags for like the rest of our lives. I guess we're going to have to give everyone blankets next year since we got such big bags. This was the one I was most excited about. The reason I like this so much is because it reminds me of a chalkboard. Which reminds me, I never told you guys about, I had, I don't really even know where they are. I think I already packed them away for next year, but um, I always wanted to do a, like a chalkboard Christmas theme in here. And I don't really even know what that means, except that I got one Dollar Tree bag last year. And I'll show you this one <laughs> that looks like a chalkboard and I fell in love with this bag and I wanted to kind of, it inspired me to do the whole room that way. We were helping a friend this fall and winter with moving and um, just a lot of stuff going on and so we didn't really get a chance to do much. I mean this is it. <laughs> right here. Um, so I wanted to do a chalkboard theme, but I didn't have time to do any decorating this year. But I did find, and I've already put them up for next year, some little round black chalkboard type ornaments at the Target dollar spot. And um, do you remember the eggs, the chalkboard eggs they had at the dollar spot in the spring last year, or this year? Um, 
they're like that, but they're ornaments. It was a pack of four for three dollars. So I got those, and I'm very excited about those, and I'm going to use those next year. I got two packages, so I have eight balls. That's all they had. And that's all, folks. Thirty dollar bid and now thirty five. Will you give me thirty five to make it thirty five to bid a thirty five? Who would have bid it at a thirty five dollar?